Here are five tips to have fun in RuneScape 3. Yes, this game is controversial. If you hate it, don't watch this video and save your time. But for those of you who are enjoying this game like me, or if you're new to it, I hope that this video is helpful. So the first thing, screw being efficient. Yes, it is cool to be efficient, and it can feel very rewarding to be efficient in this game. However, that is not the end-all be-all. It's okay to do what you'd like. So a huge example of that is, let's say you look up the best way to level up woodcutting, and it tells you that you should be going to X spot, because when you go to this spot, it's the shortest walk to the bank, and you'll make the most per hour. However, you might find that you just vibe out at a different place, and because of that, you stay there. And even though you accrue skills and XP slower, you're enjoying it more. And that's all that matters. And honestly, time spent having fun will fly by compared to doing things that you don't want to do. If being efficient makes you happy and that's how you enjoy playing, please continue doing that. But understand that if you're feeling like this game is stressing you out and you're focusing on efficiency, maybe try taking a step back. Number two, make sure you do the quests. Some of them are really fun. Some of them are extremely charming and funny. Most of them are really rewarding. And also, they really will just give you a great concept of the game overall. I do recommend using guides when necessary because a lot of the quests are a bit extensive. And truthfully, sometimes you'll get to a quest where you'll hit a wall and you're not sure what to do, and you'll look up the solution, and you'll think to yourself, there's absolutely no way I would have figured that out. That happens a lot, so seriously, do not hesitate to look stuff up, and honestly just take these quests for what they are. A lot of them are filled with funny surprises, I can't stress that enough. Number three, explore this large map. Literally just walk around, check out the map, listen to the different soundtracks at the different places. This game has so much to explore, and that is so much of the magic in this game, is just exploring everything this map has to offer, and realizing that there's probably even more than you expected. There's not even really consequences for dying, especially in the early game. So don't stress out about even going to a part of the map that's maybe too much, because once again, if you die, you can just kind of reset. Getting lodestones is awesome, because then you unlock teleportation throughout the map. And that's almost like a game in itself, just getting all of them. Number four, engage with the RuneScape 3 community. Yes, it's not as big as old school RuneScape, and this game is controversial, but the people who support this game are awesome. And I've had a lot of really cool interactions with people. People just like to help out. People tend to just ask for help, and then people are usually right there to help them out. And it's just a really cool community. And my fifth and final advice to you guys, I feel like this one is actually pretty good. I recommend taking advantage of this game on mobile devices much better at that point and it's still playable which all, is all that matters in my opinion but playing on mobile is by far the easiest way to grind you can literally grind anywhere most skills are afk as we know you really don't have to play too much and the fact that you can just have this going on your mobile device makes it so easy to grind so what i really do is i'll do questing on my pc i'll explore on my pc when it comes to grinding I usually get my character to where I want to go on the PC, log off, and then I'll grind from there on mobile device. Sometimes I'll even play another PC game and have grinding going on in the background on my phone, which I really enjoy. So these were just five quick tips. Maybe I'll make a part two if you guys like this. Also, please feel free to drop any tips that you guys think I missed. And if I do make a part two, I'll be sure to include those. I am crushing my view goals for YouTube. I just need to get more subscribers in order to become a monetized creator. I hate talking about it, but I really just want to start investing in this channel. So that's why I'm putting this out there. So please consider subscribing, guys. It helps me way more than you expect. Thank you all so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Please go ahead and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.